My name's Josie and along with my boyfriend Michael, we have been full-time traveling for about a year and a half now, but we haven't actually spent one night apart. As you can see right now, we are in an airport and that actually isn't gonna change for the next 24 hours. We're here in Langkawi, we're about to catch a plane to Kuala Lumpur, where we're transiting to our next destination, but not until tomorrow. That means we have to spend a night in the airport. Now me, I love small spaces. Michael, not so much. So we're gonna explore two great options when staying in Kuala Lumpur Airport. One hotel and one capsule hotel. Let's go check them out. This is the part where I start to wonder if all of this is worth it. All right, I'm over it now. Can I just go to a hotel? I'm actually so excited to stay in a capsule tonight. I've been wanting to do something like this, stay in one of these basically the whole time we've been away. This bag drop we're doing ourselves. I don't know who else does this, but I have totally forgotten to download shows for this flight. Every time, I never learn. Thank you. Thank you. Can you be seated according to the seat number on your boarding passes? But I have to say it is strange not having to now catch like a grab or a car to our hotel. Like we're not leaving this airport. Oh, it's weird. Okay, so I only get my capsule hotel from 12 hours from when I check in. It's currently nine o'clock at night. I don't think I want to check out at 9 a.m. So we're gonna have dinner together first and then we'll go our separate ways. Mark will go to the hotel and I'll get to the capsule. We need some dinner first though. And I think I want to boost. I'm very sad there's no roti boy here though. Oh, sticky hands. Okay, so this place with kaya toast got me. I love kaya toast. How do you feel about being a part tonight? So I was excited to like eat snacks and play video games. Cause I never get to do that. Yes, you so, do. I'm stressing a bit because I watched some reviews on how to get there. Yeah. And it's like a five minute walk, which isn't a lot, but it is comparatively to you who just goes downstairs. You didn't tell me where it was because you wanted me to get lost. Yeah. Because I never, I never look for anything when we travel. You find it always. But even though it's only downstairs, I still reckon you'll get lost. Uh, yeah. Can I just give this to you? Um, but after this, I want to get a boost and then we're going to go split up. I have to find where I'm sleeping tonight. I never have to do that. We're splitting up. <laughs> We're not doing that. <laughs> or are we? Okay, so since we travel together all of the time, both of our stuff is mixed up in our carry-on bags and like camera equipment and like Whatever things. Fits. So we have to sort that out so that each one of us has what we need to for the night. And this is really strange. Hi, um, can I please get a medium peach berry crush, please? You'll have to go like back through there and then you'll see a family mart and then there'll be some elevators that we caught last time that'll go down to e-hailing and that's how you'll get out okay bye see you later our first night apart yeah ever traveling <laughs> when you can't find the place don't call, message me <laughs> call yeah you're on your own <laughs> and there he goes my personal gps all right now it's my turn to find my accommodation for the night it is basically 10 o'clock and guess what? I've forgotten which way I have to go already. <laughs> Good start. I need to actually go about five minutes walk outside of the airport through a skyway in order to be able to find this place that where oh, I'm <laughs> used to staying where. That's a bit sad, isn't it? That I'm going to be staying in. So Michael is the one who always organizes our taxis, our hotels, how to get there. I just kind of look pretty along the way. And I know that if you travel, one of you does one or the other. So tell me which one you are below. Do you organize everything or you, do you just come along for the ride? Okay, so I think I actually found it a lot better than I thought I would. Um, but as someone who actually watches my videos, I just met her. So I just chatted to her about Milo Ice. But I found this capsule hotel a little bit easier than I think Michael would have thought that I did. Okay, I take it back. I found the sign, but I haven't found how to actually get in. <laughs> I knew this would happen. But even though it's only downstairs, I still reckon you'll get lost. Okay, yep, I'm very lost. <laughs> I found the actual place, I just didn't find how to get in. Okay, I went outside to try and find it, and I still can't find the entrance. 
But I found another sign. Um, so, I mean, I assume it's around here somewhere. Hi, do you work here? Are you from here? The Capsule Hotel? Do you know where it is? Uh, Capsule? Capsule Hotel? <laughs> this, yeah, this thing. Uh, on the wall? Do you know where? What that? Yeah, cap capsule. Capsule. No? I have to okay. <laughs> Alright, thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I have a newfound appreciation for Michael. Not newfound. I've always had it. But where is this thing? Look. I have no idea. Let's ask someone else. Oh, okay. That's not helpful. Josie is somewhere down there. And she just messaged me and said that she is having trouble getting into her room. I've left her to her devices and started the long walk down this alleyway here. So about a three and a half minute walk, the aircon's turned off. Okay, so basically I'm dumb. I was down that side and it's actually up this side. Um, if you're looking for it, it's on the bottom level of the airport where e-hailing is, the rides, and then just follow the signs. I'm just checking in. You wanna put inside the room or locker? Is there room in the room? Is there a what? Uh, in the room or the locker? The towel needs to bring down here. I need to bring the towel down. Do you mean a shower? During my shower, but I'm in the shower. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm doing, so let me just maybe go to my capsule, figure it out, and then I can drop my bag back in the locker. Let's have a look. Insert the key. All right. Hi. This isn't opening the gate. Oh. It's not working. Oh, thank you. Try again. Okay, thank you. Okay, so it looks like I have to go on the top floor, judging by this map. My room is two hundred five, but I have my luggage with me. I can't. I can't take it upstairs. Okay, I might be dumb here, but I can't find C59, which is my, oh, found this baby. <laughs> I'm not getting my freaking luggage up there, holy shivers. That's not gonna fit. All right, I'm over it now. Can I just go to a hotel? <laughs> Let's do a tiny little room tour, or Josie will kill me if I don't do that. It's not too huge, as does, but it does what you need it to do. You walk in, there's mirrors everywhere, there's a love heart written on that mirror, which is a bit weird in some sort of stain. You just get your bed, you've got your little TV, some plug sockets, including, oh, I didn't even have to buy that. The international plug socket, which is awesome. Lots of advertising for all the food stuff. So let's have a look at the bathroom and shower. Look, you can't complain, really. This was roughly 80 Australian dollars for the night. Guys, she doesn't sound like she's having a very good time, <laughs> really. I shouldn't laugh. I wish I was there to help her. Like she has to like lift bags up and you know she's got a bad back and all those sorts of things, but. cheap either it was like 55 bucks or something <sighs> I need to go out to get a coffee I'm coming back out to Starbucks but like where do I leave my stuff like 
the capsule itself only has like a like a blind like it's nothing that keeps your stuff safe you have to use the lockers this is my first time doing this at all like very first time staying away from michael in a capsule hotel anything all right let's go back up and show you the capsule I bet you Josie is having the time of her life in the actual capsule, but hating like everything associated with it, like having to walk to like a communal bathroom and all that sort of stuff. That's probably what I reckon she'd be struggling the most. face is washed I didn't bring my towel with me rookie mistake normally I don't have to think about that the towels in the hotel room bathroom or any something oh it's a it's a learning curve right now now I've left my bags both my backpack and my suitcase in one of the lockers I normally have a coffee before I go to bed which I know is weird I think I just need to go for a little walk upstairs before I head in and go to sleep for the night so I've just realized that I don't know where Starbucks is Michael always does this part for me I just say I want to go to Starbucks he takes me to Starbucks a hot mocha, hot mocha? yeah uh, grande size please all right, so I'm just getting my um, Starbucks order and I'm gonna head back to my room, but I am actually excited to sleep there. I love small and enclosed places. When I was younger, my mum and I actually lived in a one bedroom um, granny flat together. For most of it or some of it, I actually lived in the living room. And then when I used to go to my auntie's and stay there, I actually used to sleep in her closet. I just like small spaces. I feel like safe and comfortable. I don't know what it is, but I'm looking forward to actually sleeping in this capsule tonight. So, all right, so it just hit midnight. It's been about an hour and a half since I checked in. I've got my coffee to go to bed with. I am interested to see how I'm going to sleep. When I was in there earlier, hi. I heard people's alarms going off already and things like that. So I definitely think I'm gonna be woken up. So let's hope I get a good night's sleep. non-stop also the lights just outside of here are seeping through this um, this blind and I'm someone who needs complete darkness in order to sleep this bed feels really comfortable and I also have not one but two pillows let me quickly show you what's in my shower bag that I got from the front desk when I checked in I tote uh, a towel which honestly I've had worse from hotels it's quite thick bottle of water, we have an eye mask, we have a toothbrush, earbuds, earplugs, an eye mask, oh and I forgot the slippers. So it's time to go to sleep. My checkout is 12 hours from when I checked in. My checkout is 10.30am. I really like this. I would pick 
will choose to stay in this sometimes over a hotel the only thing is is that this is the price of some hotels would i choose this over a hotel if it was the same price no would i choose this as a cheap alternative yes it's just it just isn't that but it is convenient to be in the airport here at kuala lumpur because otherwise it's a long drive to the city i've got suits ready to go i'm ready to watch this i'm ready to sleep i'll see you in the morning good morning so i just wanted to show you how dark it is it is 10 a.m right now and it's almost pitch black in the capsule so i'm pretty impressed with that oh this is gonna hurt you have some light around the door but honestly i woke up at 8 30. there was a girl next to me um she was leaving at 8 30 and i heard that it was actually quite loud right there um, but I looked at my phone and I saw it was 8.30 in the morning and I thought it was wrong. I thought it was like 4 a.m. or something. It was really dark in here. I'm so, so surprised I've had such a good sleep. I'm here with a chance to plug that tune hotel there's bars there's restaurants honestly if you're staying for 24 hours it, there's so much in there free breakfast which I didn't have cabin crew night if you're a crew pass you get free cocktails so hey blokes if you're not traveling with an amazing woman like Josie it could be a good place to go and you've got game night all right, I'm heading back up to Starbucks right now to get some work done before our flight and I have to meet Michael. I'm really interested to see how his night went because I am actually surprisingly impressed with mine. Um, when the girl next to me, like literally next door to me, got up at 8.30, I woke up, um, but that's it. I went back to sleep, the bed was comfy. I'm just super surprised I've had a good rest. <laughs> Here he is. How did I'm you back. sleep? Horribly. Oh, really? This mine was morning. probably louder. Yeah. People coming and going all the time of the night, which you would have yeah. as well, I suppose. I, 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 I'm a light sleeper. Maybe so. my female section was, wasn't was full. Yeah, because you went female only, we didn't go mix on purpose, which is like four dollars extra, by the way. Female only is four dollars. I have to pay extra to feel safe. So mine also had a option where if you don't want to book a capsule hotel and you just want to shower and you just want to mm. store your luggage, you can also do that as well. The one thing I will say that I didn't get any instructions when checking in, so I had no idea what to do. I didn't know where to drop no, my no. luggage, didn't know if I couldn't take my bag in there or not. Like I had absolutely no idea. The only thing I got was here's your key card. But other than that, great. Are you, uh, yeah, YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> what you I'll show you. It's hard. My name is hard to say. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. You'll see my videos in a, in a little bit. You get two peanut butter, to be honest. Two peanut butter? Yeah. Okay, thick toast. Give me until we get dinner. Thick toast? Oh, thank you. He was like, he, he asked for my YouTube channel and then I showed him and then he saw that I loved Milo in Malaysia. So he's like, Milo dinosaur. So I had to get a Milo dinosaur. What makes a Milo dinosaur is the ice Milo down here and then they put a whole bunch of Milo on the top. Now this is similar to how Australians would have Milo. So it kind of reminds me a lot of home. Just so you know, Milo's Australian. How cool is that? <sighs> okay, so we have our toast here. Look at it all. We got three thick cut peanut butters and one um, kaya butter. You want to be in my video? Hi. <laughs> thank have you. A, have a safe flight. Oh, thank you. Okay. See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> uh, back to someone doing everything for me. <laughs> All right, so we are in the airport now, waiting at the gate to board a flight to our next destination. Leave me in the comments your guesses as to where we are going and subscribe if you haven't already. Love my time back in Malaysia, but I cannot wait to continue traveling. I'll see you in the next one in another country. Bye.